Alternator is the charging generator of a vehicle battery. Even the battery has around 12 volt. When the vehicle is start, alternator gives more than 13.9 volt to charge the battery. With understanding that voltage different, shall we learn how to use an extra battery to the vehicle using a voltage sensitive relay. As you know, you have to use the same alternator to charge the second battery. If you connect the 2NS battery to the alternator, it will be connected parallel to the main battery. But the problem came with the stop of the engine. Because, when the engine is stopped, alternator also stop generating power, then the both batteries will charge each other. It will be caused to dead both batteries as soon as possible. Therefore, we have to have a unit that activate with the engine and deactivate when the engine is off. Even the battery voltage is 12. When the engine is started, it takes around 14 volt. This voltage change can be used to make a switch. We call it as voltage sensitive relay or VSR. When the engine is off, VSR unit off with disconnecting the link between second battery and alternator. Therefore the both batteries are not being charged each other. This is the first part of car dual battery installation lesson. This unit is called as VSR that means voltage sensitive relay. You can find the circuit diagram and PCB layout from the description below. Why we need this VSR? When you connect another battery with your starter battery, if your starter battery is not charging the both battery may be dead. Therefore we have to disconnect the wire from second battery when the engine is not on. To do so, VSR unit identify the voltage level of normal battery and charging battery. This unit will work only for the vehicles that battery charging volt more than 14.0 volts and also this should not be used with 24 volt batteries. As a test, I connected this VSR with power supply and I gently increased the voltage. When voltage level come to 14, you can see the unit activated and LED power on. Meantime I reduced the voltage and with the voltage running down the unit power off. Shall we connect this unit with the car to check the unit? negative wire should be grounded properly. Then connect the positive wire with VSR positive. Shall we see after starting the vehicle? Once started the car, the battery begun to be charged. Then you can see VSR unit power on. Then again if I power off the engine, VSR stop working. I hope you can understand this procedure and if you have any doubts, you can put it in the comments below and also you can see more with easymates.com website.